Um, I'd like to understand, and thank you, by the way, um, I'd like a broader understanding, I guess, of the relationship of food and exercise and body shape and size and just the whole concept, because I've heard you say previous that it's not so much the food, it's the thought about the food, and it's not so much the exercise or the action. Again, it's probably still, it's in that same realm of what I've been asking. Everything is, we only have one answer. <laughs> in other words, it turns out that relative to achieving anything, your options are this. You must act in accordance with your belief, otherwise you get angst. Or you have to change your belief, otherwise you get angst. So you either have to offer the behavior in terms of food and exercise that causes you to expect the results you want, or you have to change your belief relative to same. It's one or the other. And for most people, it's easier to modify behavior, but we would so rather that you modify your thought. And it's a matter of sort of trial and error. In other words, it's a matter of just thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling. You bring yourself to very clear ideas of what you want. And that is such a wonderful thing. And when you hold to those ideas and then you offer a belief or an action that you have a belief about that challenges that idea, then you feel uncomfortable. And so over time, people who are really determined modify their behavior because it's an easier way of going about it. But now you reached a place of even greater enlightenment and evolution where now you've got the, I can modify my behavior in order to get what I want. Now I want to get what I want with more flexible behavior. And we say more flexible behavior can only benefit you when you have cleaned up your thought. In other words, that's where that changing the thought comes. Esther talks about this all the time because her entire life, she has weighed more than she wants to weigh. And yet she has this lovely relationship with food. They travel around the country and they know where every wonderful restaurant is. And every night of the world or nearly is a celebration in some delightful restaurant with some delightful person that they remember from the last time that they are there. And there's something special on that menu that they remember that they want. And so if she's not willing to modify her behavior, she's got to change her thought. That's just the way the process is. And so what we're talking with her about is making peace with where you are. In other words, you can't sit there and eat something or not go to the gym this day when you said that you were going to. You cannot defy the behavior that you promised yourself or that you believe about. You can't do that and line up energy at the same time. In other words, you just can't eat something that you believe is derogatory to your intention without it being derogatory to your intention. And it's the vibration of it that makes it derogatory, not what you ate. But that's a hard thing to get loose of because you believe in that and have believed in that for so long. And so we think it is a wonderful subject and for most of you as you come into this arena of deliberate creation for most of you it's one of the last things your body is almost the last thing you get control of vibrationally and as we said earlier it's because you take it everywhere you go and you interface with it in so many specific ways through the day your physical apparatus is the first thing that responds to the theme of your thought but it's also the thing that you've been thinking about longest since you got in this body so changing the mood or attitude about your body and its relationship to everything takes some determination and what we know is that when you care more about how you feel than you do about anything else everything will come into alignment but there are a lot of you that it feels too risky to let go of the behavior. In other words, we're talking about the same thing here. It yes. feels too risky to let go of the behavior for fear that I don't really understand this energy thing. Mm -hmm. 
And so if I let go of the way I've been guiding myself with behavior before I've lined up my energy, my body might get out of control. And we say it would under those conditions. Don't let go of the behavior that's working for you. Let the behavior that's working for you work for you in one arena. And so you've got this action journey that's working for you. Let it keep working for you and then work on the emotional journey over here. And before long, the emotional journey will feel so secure that the action thing that you've been doing will feel inconsequential and it will be relative to everything. Okay. Thank you. Yes, indeed.